Hey everyone, well welcome back and we are going to be going over sections uh, from chapter 10. Uh, it's going to be a shorter chapter um, and a lot of this stuff you might have done in like your Algebra 2 class in high school, uh, a little bit in like a Math 120 or inter Intermediate Algebra class. Uh, so hopefully most of this stuff will be some sort of a review. So pretty much the entire section except for a little bit is going to be on conic sections. And conic sections <clears throat> are graphs that are generated from, from cones. Uh, and it just kind of depends on how you slice a cone uh, with a plane, and that'll kind of tell you the shape. So uh, like if you take a cone and you just go straight on through it, like it's perpendicular to the base, or sorry, parallel to the base, uh, you end up with the graph of a circle. If you tilt it, and still go through the cone, uh, you get an ellipse. So an ellipse is just a, a, like, it's a stretched out circle, uh, either widthwise or, or lengthwise, it's an oval. Uh, if you cut it in such a way that it doesn't make an ellipse uh, or, or a circle, you end up with a parabola. And then if you stack two cones on top of each other, if you slice both of them, with that same plane, that's what gives you the hyperbola or like the two stacked uh, parabolas. So that's what conic sections are. Um, so we're gonna be looking at each one of each one of them. We've already done the circle that was way back in chapter uh, one. Uh, so that one's already done. So we're just gonna be looking at these three in the next uh, three sections. So we're gonna do the parabola first. Um, so a parabola, like we all know what it looks like and how to draw them, but we've never like really seen the formal definition of it, at least not in this class. So parabola is the set of all points that are the same distance from a fixed point F as they are from a fixed line D. So that fixed point F, that's called the focus and the fixed line D, that is the directrix. And then we also have an axis of symmetry and that just splits the parabola into two equal halves. And it goes through the focus, uh, the vertex, and is perpendicular to the directrix. Okay, so that was a lot of like definition mathy stuff. So let's kind of visualize what they're talking about. So out here we have the focus so the focus sits inside the parabola, and then this dashed line here, that is your directrix. So the definition says, hey, if I choose any point on this parabola, and I measure the distance from the point to the focus, so that'd be like D1, it would have the same distance from that same point down to the directrix, no matter where I choose it on this parabola. So D1 and D2, oh, forgot the one, so if you actually measured those two distances they are equal to each other. So that's the definition for your parabola. All right, so let's look at the ways a parabola can go and how you might draw them. And the ones that we've been doing in this class so far have been where it either opens up or opens down. So this is where you have the Y by itself and the X is being squared. So your vertex, uh, whatever makes the parentheses equal to zero, uh, and then the K, so H and K. The focus, uh, and remember it sits inside the parabola. So if the parabola opens up, the focus is gonna be up. If the parabola opens down, the focus is down or lower. So you're shifting it either up or down. So when you go up or down, that's affecting the Y value. So the focus and the vertex have the same X coordinate and to figure out where the new y coordinate is, is you're gonna take that y value, the k, 
and you're either going to add or subtract this a value from uh, from the equation and then the directrix it's a line so it's going to be y equals and you're taking that same y coordinate and you're going to do the opposite of what you did from the focus so uh, you want to write it as k and then minus plus uh, the a so if you added it if you add an A to the, to the focus, you're going to subtract the A from the directrix uh, and vice versa. So the parabolas can open in two other ways. They can either open up to the left or open up to the right, and you get the vertex uh, in the same manner. You just have to be a little bit careful because whatever makes the parentheses equal to zero is the Y. And then the number on its own out here uh, is going to be the x and so that's really easy to get them flip-flopped because you're just so used to doing it uh, with these uh, you want to translate it just the same thing over to here uh, but just make sure you get you, know, you keep them straight so the focus instead of going up or an up or down shift now it's shifting left or right so you're affecting the x coordinate of the vertex so you're adding or subtracting the a value to get the focus. And then for the directrix, you do the opposite. So h minus or plus the a. So that's all the background stuff uh, for these things. In the next video, we'll go ahead and graph them um, and also get the equation from a graph.